okay so hey everyone welcome to the python problem solving series and today we are going to solve the problem roman numbers to integers this is the fourth problem of our series and uh, it is the easy difficulty level question of the lit code let's see what is the problem statement and here the problem statement is roman number are represented by seven different symbols and the symbols are given here i v x l c d and m and their respective values are given here okay for example here you can see 2 is written as double i again here another examples are shown here like 12 is written as x double i because x has value 10 and double i has value 12 okay and so on so the numbers you can see here written the number are usually written from largest to smallest okay and these are the things here i can placed before v it will represent the smallest number than the largest so you uh, minus the largest you can see if i v is there it means v has value 5 and i has value 1 right so what is the value of i v i v's value is 4 that is like 5 minus 1 so this is shown here now let's see given a roman number and we have to return the integer for this okay so you can read this problem statement in detail you have all the values here shown this is the 13th problem on lit code now let's write a code for this before that let's understand how we can solve this problem okay so first thing is we have to iterate over the numbers let's see this is the string triple i and we have to convert it right and here i's value is uh, one right so how we can do we can iterate over this string and we can capture the letters so first letter is i its value is one okay then second letter is i its value is also one then previous letter plus our current letter that is one plus one that is two again we will iterate to the third letter that is 1 okay so previous now previous letter is uh, previous two letter or total is 2 and we are adding again 1 to it and we will get return as a 3 let's i will open the notepad for this or paint okay now just imagine we have to solve this number lv triple i okay so i am going to type this L V triple I. Okay, so this is our number. How we can solve? Here, you know the value of L is fifteen, fifty. So L has value of fifty. Then our value of V is five, and then value of I is one. How we can solve this? Then we will iterate over this string L V I I. Okay, so L has value fifty. This is our first previous uh, first number, or you can say this is our current number. Okay. Now our current number has fifty value. We will add this to total. So then we will iterate again over the loop, and now our second letter of the string is V. Now we will check V. Okay. So we will add V to it, and V has value five. Okay. So we will add current number to the total. that is five okay then again we will iterate over this i and we will add again one to it then we will again come to the next letter that is i and i's value is one okay then we will again come to i and its value is one now in this way we have this value we have to sum up this so 50 plus 5 and all so it ends up to 58 so and we will return the 58 this is how we can solve this problem but the things gone wrong when we have a value which has the number which is a uh, smaller or you can say previous number is smaller than current number in that scenario we have problems okay so how it will how we will have problem just imagine the value of like ix okay so if we go with our current or traditional approach with this ix now how we can solve this thing 
first i's value is 1 then we'll again iterate over and x value is 10 so it should be 11 but that's not true because in this scenario i we will we will subtract i from x or you can say we will subtract previous value from current value in this scenario right yes definitely so how we can do this in another way now we can do this in another way as like this here i x so i has we are iterating over this string i x okay so our first letter of the string is i and it has value one okay no problem then we will again iterate and the next letter is 10 okay no problem so now our value is increased by then in this scenario what we can do we have added the number which we have to subtract right so in this scenario what if we subtract two times the previous number so if i subtract i two times previous number two times that was i current number is x okay the previous number has value one and into two it has value two so in this scenario we will get nine and this is the answer right so in this way we can solve this roman number problem first of all we need a map of all this value right values i will give an i will give name to the map and that is values and let's see now we can create the map first or map dictionary its keys should be the roman letter so and its value will be the integer value okay so now our we have to separate this first we need to so now our map is created okay so these are the respective values for the given roman numbers now let's start so as we discussed we have to add things up okay that's why we need one variable let's name that variable as total let's initialize it to zero and again we have to track the record of current value so let's create a variable again current and that let's give the value zero then again we need one that is previous so create a variable pre and give it a value zero now let's iterate over the string okay so we need to iterate over the string so just imagine this is the string and we have to iterate over it so for that i'm using for loop i will use i in range you have to iterate over this string so whatever the string's length is i have to iterate over the length right so length and uh, our string given string will be s so s will be here now let's come inside the loop okay now after coming into the loop we have to we have two condition the current number is greater than previous number or current number is less than previous number. these are the two condition so if so current number is current number is greater than previous number if this is the scenario in that case we have to add total equals to total plus now if current number is greater just imagine the scenario i x so first it will add the number i okay so for that what is the current number in this case if we take i x then we are now at currently position i so the value of i we have to find out so it is there in values map so this is our values map now i's value is one so we have to call i and now i's value should be come from the string right so the string has value i means here you can see now in this way we will get the value we have added this to the total existing total plus we need to add or you can say this is the current value as well we can calculate it as current so it will be easier to our previous total we have to add current values so in this scenario we have added i so previous total is zero we have added i that has value one 
right then again it will iterate over the loop and it will check oh the previous value previous values now in this scenario is one okay previous value in this scenario that is i and i has value one and current value is x so x is greater than one so in this scenario if x is greater than one so we have to subtract two times as i have shown you on the example right so minus two into previous value the second condition is else else is the simple total equals to total plus current value but till now we haven't updated the previous value right so every time we go to the next value then previous value should be current value so previous value equals to current value right return total so here you can see this is the program now let's run this let's see it will pass us the test cases or not and yes you can see all test cases are passed okay so let's have this example and let's see how uh, let's dry run the program now we are going to dry run this value okay and here you can see here this is m c m x c i b and we want to convert this roman number to integer with our program and we are going to dry run this program okay at the initial stage when i don't have any value there is no iteration in i what are all the values so all the values are total current and this so current value is zero agreed total value is zero and previous value is also zero okay now for i in range of length of string so length of string is seven so i in range of seven so first value now when i is zero first time in the first iteration of this loop i has value zero let's see what is the current value current value equals to s of i so what is s of i this is string string of zero zeroth index m m is there and m has value 1000 as per the roman number so now current value become 1000 okay agreed let's check current value is greater than previous value so 1000 1000 is greater than previous value it is true and once it is true we have to calculate the total now total equals to previous total so let's calculate total equals to our previous total plus current value so this is current value minus two times of previous value two into previous value let's check so now total became 1000 okay and after that it will collect this previous value equals to current value hey, sorry current value equals to previous value so equals to this is previous value and it is equal to current value this is our zeroth iteration or you can see when i is zero now it will iterate again and i has value one right now so when i has value one current variable has value of s of one so s of one that is c and c has value 100 okay will enter 100 c's roman number equivalence is 100 so is 100 greater than previous so what is previous thousand 100 greater than 1000 no it will be false so else block will be executed in else block total equals to total plus current so total equals to previous total plus current and now it has value this 1100 and previous equals to current so previous equals to current now this is the new previous value the loop we will iterate again now i has value 2 and when i has value 2 at this position m is there m has value 1000 in roman numbers so it is equivalent to 1000 okay now you can see current value is 1000 now current is greater than previous so 1000 is greater than previous yes it is that's why we are going to calculate total with the if blocks way so total equals to previous total plus this current value minus two times of previous value hit enter so it will become 1900 previous equals to current let it iterate over third iteration now i well i's value become three when i is three this is value of s of three 
So S of 3 is having value. You can see M C M X. Now it is X and X has value 10. So current value become 10. If current is 10, now let's it will check the loop. If current is greater than previous, 10 is greater than 1000. No, it will execute else block. Now this block equals to total equals to previous total plus current previous total plus current this is 1910 and now previous equals to current fourth loop will started fourth now i has value four so value of s of four so s of four s of four is c and c has value 100 in roman so this is 100 if c has value 100 is 100 greater than 10 yes it is greater than so we have we are going to work with this if conditions block now total will be equals to previous total plus current minus two times of previous value right so this is previous value so it will become 1990 and that is correct and now our current equals to our previous equals to current the current value become 100 now we will do our i has value 5 so value of s of 5 so s of 5 is i and i has its roman number value as 1 so it has value 1 let's calculate is current is greater than previous 1 is greater than 100 no so else block will be executed now our new total in the else block will be to previous total plus current so this is previous total plus this current and hit enter so this is 1991 and you can see previous equals to current so previous equals to now we will iterate uh, i has value 6 okay and i has value 6 so it means current value equals to value of value of s of i so s of 6 and s of 6 is this i have 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and it has value 5 so roman value of current is 5 v okay now condition current is greater than previous so 5 is greater than 1 yes it is true so we are going to calculate total by this if block way let's calculate total equals to previous total plus our current value minus two times of previous value this is 1994 let's update our pre new previous value is current we have updated it so you can see this is 1994 and this should be the integer equivalents of m c m x c i v this roman number so remember this value is 1994 and let's check you can see this is 1994 so in this way we can calculate roman number and uh, this is all about today's video if you have any doubts please feel free to ask the questions in the comment section below and if you have suggestions then drop the suggestions in the comment section below we will see you in the next video till then happy learning